Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make an easy pork chop dinner. Let's get started. So first we're gonna start off with an onion. All right, onion is chopped and off to the side now. Now we're going to get some potatoes. Make sure your potatoes are washed. If you wanna peel them, that's up to you. I washed them, so I'm gonna use the peel. We're gonna go ahead and cut these bad boys up. All right, so now that we have the potato and the onion cut up, now we're gonna prepare the meal. First, we're gonna put the oven to 350 so that while we're getting it ready, it has time to preheat. So all you have to do is take one can of slippery tomato sauce, Goya, whatever sauce you want, put it on the bottom. I'm using a roasting pan because it's just a little bit easier for me. If you want more tomato sauce, you can. I'm going to add a little bit of water, you know, because you don't want it to be too thick at the bottom because then if you cook it too long, it'll mess it up. I'm going to just kind of mix this on the bottom so it's easy. Next step is take your pork chops. I have not seasoned them yet. Put them on the bottom like this. And then you're gonna season them however you like them. I like garlic, adobo, salt, and pepper, whatever you decide, but go ahead and season your pork chops how you like. Okay, so just add a little bit of seasoning. Garlic. Now I'm going to flip the pork chops and decide I'm gonna do a completely different seasoning because you know sometimes these seasonings can be salty and then your food comes out too salty and it doesn't taste good. So I'm gonna use Goya Sasso. Sprinkle that on top. You don't wanna use all of it because you're gonna sprinkle this or whatever seasoning you like on your potatoes as well. And that is it there. So now you're gonna add your potatoes around it like this. And you're gonna take your chopped up onions, just kinda throw that on top. Add a little bit more seasoning to the potatoes. Then we're going to cover this like that and put it in the oven. Set your timer. I'm going to set it for at least an hour because I like tender pork chops that fall off the bone. You know, they're just real tender. So we'll do for 55 minutes. And then while that's cooking, we're just gonna come over here real quick. I have a rice cooker. You can use anything that you have. You can do minute rice, but I like the rice cooker. So two cups of rice, add your water. Add some salt and pepper to your rice if you like, or however you like your rice. A little bit of olive oil, stir it, put the lid on, and get to cook. That's it. So now we just have to pick up the little bit of mess that we have here, and we're going to go to commercial break. So life gets tough sometimes. Sometimes you're a working parent, maybe a busy mom at home, or you're a student, or you have some issues that you can't cook all the time. So now that we have our food cooking, now we can just chill. Now you have time to just scroll through TikTok, look at other TikToks, because your dinner's in the oven. You don't have to stand there and make it. Also, make sure if you have TikTok, you subscribe to Jose Monkey Bones Gaming's TikTok. And don't forget your girl's TikTok, Melissa May. If you're a gamer, you have time to play games. Ooh, look at that boy running. Or if you just wanna read a book and relax, you can read a book while your dinner's in the oven. Or if you're a mom, you have time to play with your kids. <laughs> while your dinner's in the oven. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for easy meals when you have no time in the kitchen. Back to the show. All right, dinner is done, let's see. Look at that, rice is done. So I could have nice plates, but we're gonna use paper plates because you just throw them away. Dinner served. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned and make sure you subscribe. Every Tuesday, I will have a new recipe coming up that is easy in the kitchen. Make sure you like this video, comment down below, and we'll see you next time.